Hi folks, so the problem we're faced with here today is based on this uh, Batman logo here, uh, logo here, and it is an ellipse question. So it says here, the drawing on the right shows the Batman logo. Uh, the outline of the design is elliptical. Draw the design to the given measurements. Okay, so before we even get into the Batman logo, first of all, we actually just have to focus on the ellipse. So you can see here, uh, I've already written in some information here. We've got the overall length of the ellipse, which is going from left to right, okay, the long part, which would be known as the major axis. I've just written major here. That is 140. So if it's 140, we're going to be doing a major circle, radius 70. Half of 140, radius 70. I've also got the short part of the ellipse, the smaller part, okay, which is 80. That is called the minor axis. And that is going to be 80, which means the radius is 40, radius 40, minor circle, radius 40, major circle, radius 70. So that's our first step, and we're going to use the concentric circles method, division of lines, division, of, or sorry, dividing it up into multiple segments uh, to find the uh, rest of the points on the ellipse. Okay, so that's where we're going to start. So on your sheet, we start off, I'd always start off doing a horizontal line, then simply a vertical line, roughly somewhere in the middle, doesn't have to be exact, something like that. I'm going to measure my radius of 70. 0 out to 7, and then also 0 out to 4. Doesn't matter which ones you measure it on. Having done that, from here out to the 70, I'm going to draw in what's known as my major circle, and also my minor circle. Okay, now that we've done that, just zoom in there, so it's a little bit clearer on the screen. The next method, concentric circles method, we're going to split our major and minor circle up into 30 degrees to the left and right. And then finally, also 60 degrees this way and this way. Okay, now that I've done that, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the method of concentric circles. So, first thing I'd always note is my major axis, MAJ, is running from left to right, and my minor axis, MIN, is running up and down. At either end of my major axis, which has come from here to here, I have two points in an ellipse. I have one there and one there. And at either end of the minor axis, I also have two more points in the ellipse. I have one there and one there. The reason it's the minor is because it's the smaller axis going vertical, and they're obviously perpendicular to one another, major axis going this way. Now, to find uh, a series of other points that's going to help me draw my ellipse, what I'm going to do is, the method is, anywhere it cuts the minor circle, we go parallel to the major axis. So in this case, let's take this division line here, just this portion of it here. In that case, it's cutting the minor circle here, and it cuts the major circle here. Where it cuts the minor circle, we go parallel to the major axis. In this case, we'll either go left or right. So from here, we're actually going to go left. And then, using the same division line, where it cuts the major circle, I want to go parallel to the minor axis, either up or down. And in this case, from here, I will be going down. Where the two of them cross will help find me a point on my ellipse. Okay, and we use that method for every other division line. So, on the opposite side, in this case, we will go right, and we would also go down. And once again, that will help us determine a point. Now, we repeat that process for every other one of these points. So look from here, left and right. I often get in the habit of just doing all the minor circle ones first. Left and right. And then here, left and right. Now, everywhere it hits the major circle, I'll go up and down. So up. Then from here, it's down. And then from here, it's up. From here, up down, not already some of these done, then up. And then as you can see, now I'm using markers, you'll be using pencil on the day of your exam. And there we go, you can see the multiple points that I'm after finding. Now all we have to do then is we sketch in our ellipse as best we can. So I'm going to do this ever so lightly. I'm not going to heavy it in till the end because I have obviously the Batman designed to put in.
nice and light, taken care, and we're holy draw it. Okay, now as you can see there, we're after drawing in our ellipse, just roughly. Now the reason I haven't heavied it in is because I have to put in all of this information here. I'm going to start with the bottom portion of the wings, okay, and you can see those kind of circular arcs there, and you can see here we've got a radius of 20 here, and then this arc here has a radius of 15. Now, how do I find that? And you can see the center points are actually on the ellipse. So from the middle, okay, or actually from the bottom of the ellipse, okay, at the bottom of the minor axis, I'll measure across 20 and just do a little line up, and then I do the radius of 20 arc. Where that radius 20 arc actually cuts through the ellipse here will help me identify the other center point, then I do a radius 15, and likewise on the opposite side. So the easiest way to do that is, from the bottom of the minor axis, I'm just gonna do a line like this, left and right. I'm now going to measure 20 to the left, and 20 to the right. Having measured those, I'm going to do a line up and a line up. And that's helping me identify my center point there and there. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm actually just going to use my compass now. Get 20 millimeters on my compass, and I actually have it measured on my sheet, so I'll just take it from there. So that's the 20 on my sheet. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to put in an arc. That arc is going to run from there all the way into there, and likewise, the exact same from there to there. Okay, now what's helpful to me is that's after identifying to me the next center point, which is right there and right there. Get 15 on your compass, so just come over here using my T square, 15 on the compass. And now, using my new center points, you can see where that's cutting through. And likewise, with this center point here, where this one is cutting through. Okay, and the last little bit I'd have to do then is obviously heavy that in. So I'm just going to actually, just to make it a little bit more distinguishable, using this center point here now, because where the arcs cross each other. That's the first one. And that's the second. And change up the radius then, down to the 15 again. And that's the third. And finally the fourth. And there we have it. And as you can see, I've the bottom portion done. All I want to do now, as best I can, and make the curve flow. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to focus on the top portion. So to get the top portion of the Batman logo, I have to find the center point. And you can see here we've actually got circles. We've got a circle here and a circle here. And the radius of those is 15. However, I have to find the center point. You can see here with the measurements from the center point of the ellipse, it's out 25. And then it's up a height of 25, and it's going to be symmetrical, so it's the same on the opposite side. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So from the center point of the ellipse, I'm going to measure 25 to the left. I'm actually going to measure 25 to the right. After I measure the two of those, I'm going to do a vertical line. And the vertical line. And then I'm going to measure up 25. So from 12, it'll be up to 14 and a half. Just using maths there to help me out. And I'll do a line left and right like that. Okay, there's the center point right there and right there. Okay, now that I've found the center point, same again, I'm going to redraw those two, sorry, not redraw, but draw in those two circles, radius 15. So I've got 15 on the compass, and I want those circles to cut through the ellipse, and you can see where it's cutting through there. That's the bit I want. So I'll draw in that circle, and it's actually only going around to the three o'clock position. In this case over here, it's going around to the nine o'clock position. And once again, you can see where it's cutting through. Okay, now that I've done that, once again, I'm going to heavy in that little bit of a portion of it. Let's just switch it out into my marker here. A little bit more awkward. 
the manage that's where it goes up in the ellipse there now it'll head around to there and then finally from here all the way around to there okay having done that heavy this in from there to there and once again same on the opposite side there you go okay so as you can see there we're nearly there the last little bit we have to do is we're going to heavy straight up and you can see here then for just this little portion inside here that distance there is 10 so from the middle i measure 5 to the right and 5 to the left and the height of it is up 30 and that will help us determine i suppose the the bat ears so this guy is just going to go straight up as is this one just until it hits the ellipse and then the other thing i want to do is i'm going to measure up 30 millimeters so from 15 up as far as the 18. make the mark there on that line there running across I'm going to measure 5 to the left and 5 to the right. 5 to the left, 5 to the right. And from here, straight down, and straight down. And you can see there, it's just simply a case of finishing the detail. Okay, there you have it, guys. That there is the Batman question completed based on uh, an ellipse problem. Okay, I hope you found that helpful.